So it's possible to make a longitudinal section of the brain, showing us some of the internal structures in this longitudinal plane. And I've got quite a nice model that demonstrates some of these structures. So here we see the cerebrum underneath the bone of the skull. And on this model, this purple area is the cerebrospinal fluid protecting the brain to act as a shock absorber. And as we know, there's two cerebral hemispheres, one on the right and one on the left. But it's very important that the two halves of the brain can communicate with each other. And this structure here is the corpus callosum, which is white connecting fibers, connecting one side of the brain with the other side of the brain, connecting the two halves of the, the brain, the two cerebral hemispheres. This area here is called the diencephalon, containing the thalamus, the hypothalamus in the pineal body. And this is also on this model the area of the third ventricle, containing cerebrospinal fluid, which is produced by this structure here called the choroid plexus. Here we see the pituitary gland, located in the pituitary fossa of the skull. The brownish area in this model is the cerebellum. And this area is the brain stem. We see the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. This is the hole in the base of the skull called the foramen magnum. And as we see, the medulla oblongata is continuous with the spinal cord. And the spinal cord is going through the vertebrae. In this case, the cervical vertebrae. And here we see the intervertebral cartilaginous discs. between the cervical vertebrae. Other interesting structures to notice. Here we have a sinus, an airfield space. Obviously the nose and the nasal cavities here. This is the nasopharynx. Behind the mouth, we have the oropharynx. And lower down in the area of the larynx, which is down here, we have the laryngopharynx. This is the area of the larynx. These are the vocal cords, giving rise to the trachea, which goes down here, taking air towards the lungs. This large muscular structure is the tongue. And of course we see the mouth here, the oral cavity, and the teeth. So this shows us the way that the brain is situated within the cranial cavity. This is all the cranial cavity and how this anatomy relates to the rest of the structures in the head and neck.